killing him. How old are you? How old are you, Sky? Fifteen and a half. Three and a half. Oh my goodness, you're like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Allison. And I feel like I've been starting my last few vlogs here um, in my studio at the end of my Sunday vinyasa class. And today uh, I feel especially blissful. It was a ladder flow, which is this style of sequence that's really builds upon uh, the sequence that came before. So it's sort of like you do a lunge on each side and then a lunge plus a twist, and then a lunge plus a twist plus warrior two. That's that's sort of what we did. And there's a few things I love about ladder flows. Like one, they gradually build heat because the sequences get progressively longer and you keep like repeating what came before. You sort of like get into this space where you know what's coming so that the thinking mind can really take a back seat. You can like really relax. And sometimes because you're doing the same thing over and over, can sometimes feel a little bit boring, which I feel like is also like a healthy space to be in sometimes. Not so stimulated, not so entertained, especially in yoga these days. Like everything has to be like flashy and fun. To get butts in the seats, we, you know, jazz up the class, trying to make it as fun as possible. But there's something to be said for like getting into a, like a little bit of a mundane space and just feeling how that challenges the mind and how quickly that can challenge the mind. So yeah, but they also like really gradually build heat in the body and towards the end of the ladder flows, I'm always, I'm always sweating a good bit and it felt really good today, which is a very cold day. This space is down in my basement, which gets pretty chilly. It's underground. The floors are just like tiled concrete, like a basement is. So it, it always feels really good when I get to like generate good purifying heat in my body with the practice. So that's all, just like coming out of that today, feeling like really strong and it was a nice big class. I felt like a really good energy. It was good to see some people. And we were just talking about how one of the silver linings of this like virtual experience that we're having, like in yoga and otherwise, is that like some of my students and some of my teachers have moved over the years or even during the pandemic. And we've been able to like continue practicing with each other or like staying connected through yoga. Even if it's still virtual, I can still like touch base with like Christine who moved to LA a few months ago, like on Sundays. I just like really have come to like look forward to it. And I don't know, it's been such a wild ride. And I'm just, I'm grateful for, for everything that it's taught me, honestly. Thank you for listening. I am just so grateful that you're here. Thank you for watching today. And let's begin. <music> Was it fun? We were breaking ice blocks that had like little plastic bugs and animals in them. So that was fun. Sticky yeah, there was a fly in one of them. And then we went on a hike. We found some lichen and some mushrooms on logs and things like that. That was a longer hike today, which was good because it was starting to get cold just sitting around and read some books. It's been such a gift being able to have a little organized play with other kids outside. It makes me wish that all daycares and preschools had outside portions of class interacting with nature and each other. It really is such a beautiful thing.
there's another one. <laughs> Just finished working out, which is a sentence I haven't said in months, but it was good. I feel good. I'm very flushed. Sky is at my mother-in-law's today. So I took this morning to do that little hit workout, finished editing a class that I uploaded, and I signed up for my very first therapy session through BetterHelp, which I think I'm the most proud of myself about. And I know there's a lot of controversy around BetterHelp. It was a good solution for me. I needed a, a bit of hand-holding through the entry, and I really loved their sort of like introductory questionnaire asking you about why do you want therapy? What you expect out of therapy? What kind of traits you want to see in your actual therapist? So I thought that little introductory questionnaire was a really lovely little exercise in self-exploration. Also helped me understand like what the goals of therapy can be. And I don't know, I just, it got me really excited. It also felt like it got me kind of prepared for what therapy might be like. So I got assigned to a therapist and I didn't really like love the first assignment. It was, I was assigned to a man and I didn't even think I cared about the sex or gender of my therapist. But after I was assigned to a man, I realized that maybe I want to work with a woman. So I asked to be reassigned and they sent me a few options and I picked one and I loved her bio. We did a little correspondence back and forth and then I made my appointment, which is on a Friday. So I'm feeling just like really showing up for myself today. It's good. So Sky will be home soon. And now I feel kind of like recharged and like ready to see her. And that's also why we do the things that we do, right? To like show up for ourselves, but also so that we can show up for the people that we love. And one last thing, if you are interested in trying therapy through BetterHelp, there is a link in the description for a week of free therapy. I'll get a week and you'll get a week. So everybody wins. They also have some financial relief for anyone that's been financially impacted by the coronavirus. Let me know if you if you give it a shot. Good snow day. It's kind of warming up, so nothing's really sticking, but it looks really nice on the trees. The sky's having fun. We're getting real wet though. This is where I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm about to take Toby on a walk and I'll probably spend tomorrow editing this. Yeah, so thank you for joining me for this week. Feels like it was a good one. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna edit this a little bit and then also get started on a bedside yoga practice for the Patreon. So I have to work on that and edit that. So I'll probably be doing that tomorrow, especially if we're snowed in. It'll be a great day to just like film and edit and be all cozy so that is it for now thanks for watching and maybe i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye